Warning. The following game features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, Game Soul Studio must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunts or activity performed in this game. There's been quite a few games recently that focus on micromanipulating the playable character rather than the character as a whole. In Surgery Simulator 2013, you had to control the fingers and hand of a surgeon who's performing a heart transplant. Another title, Octodad, puts you in control of the individual arms and legs of an octopus masquerading as a man coming to terms with fatherhood. This depth of micromanagement hasn't yet fully translated over to mobile platforms, however we are starting to see a rise in ragdoll and physics-based titles that clearly take inspiration from this heritage. Earlier this month I reviewed the brilliant Crashlander, where you didn't have direct control over the angle of your character's skis, but instead you were able to angle your body and let momentum and gravity take care of the rest. Backflip Madness simplifies things even further. You have one action button. Pressing this button progresses through each stage of your character's backflip routine. Press once, you crouch. Press a second time, you jump. A third, you perform your backflip maneuver, and a fourth time will straighten you out and hopefully, if everything went according to plan, allow you to land safely. As with all of the aforementioned titles, intended or not, because of the flexibility of the physics engines involved, hilarity often ensues. Due to the variety of ways you can perform your flips and variations in timing, it's extremely unlikely that two of your flips will ever be the same. In each location, you need to perform a backflip under different conditions. They'll start out easy enough, requiring the player to perform an on-the-spot backflip and will quickly advance in difficulty to where you'll be required to perform a backflip during a sheer vertical drop or horizontally over an obstacle. Successfully landing a flip will grant the player experience and with each new player level unlocked, you'll be granted a different type of flip. Each of these change the way the player will travel through the air and will execute at different velocity and rotation speeds. You're even able to introduce a second maneuver to your routine, meaning that after your first backflip, a subsequent button press will shift your body to one of your other moves. I haven't yet been able to successfully land these, however, as I haven't had enough vertical space to perform two flips. A free play mode that allows you to experiment with moves without a retry limit is introduced after you beat each level, and therein lies the problem. You see, each time you start a level, you're given three retries. You lose one of these each time you crash, and if you run out of retries, well, you have to restart the level from the beginning. Now, while this does carry with it a large skill requirement, it's also borderline frustrating as it becomes very difficult to advance. I can't tell you the number of times I've had a perfect run up until the very last flip and ended my run by repeatedly failing on the last jump. I've had the game for two days now and have only been able to unlock the second level. There's eight. Personally, I feel like the developers need to change the way advancement functions in this, because I'd really like to see those levels that were teased in the trailer where you get to jump from the top of buildings and canyons. Heck, I'd even pay 99 cents just to unlock all of the levels. <clears throat> that one's free, Game Soul Studio. Even given my apparent lack of progression and some minor graphical hiccups, Backflip Madness is insanely addictive. I can't stop playing it at every opportunity I get. It's available right now for Android and iOS platforms for the pocket-friendly price of 99 cents. Thank you for joining me today. This has been Alex for GameMob. That's www.gamemob.com.